when we do volleyball style, if you've shared and I haven't cleared the board yet, make sure you're doing the listening because there's still a couple of people that need to, need to share. So Drew shared with us that we had 22 pennies. Does this give anybody any ideas how else we can represent 0 0.22? Can we use dollars? Dimes. Anyway? Tara, come on up here. Just walk straight up there. Just walk straight up here. If I said, okay, you get 0 0.22, what are you going to take? 22. Okay, Drew said he's going to take 22 of those. Can you do it in a different way? Okay, how can you get uh, 0 0.22? Dime. Okay. Then take two cents. Okay. So Tara took two dimes and two pennies. Did she represent 0 0.22? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Our first way that we can represent 0 0.22 is two dimes, two pennies. I never thought of that in money. You didn't think of that in money. That's what the whole idea of this lesson is, relating decimals to what's happening around the in in real life. Could you use dollars and subtract subtract from it then smooth? Would you end up could you take a dollar and subtract something to get down to 0 0.22 do yes. you think? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be working on that later on in the lesson subtracting the decimals. Not this lesson but the in the unit. Okay, let's take let's take a look at money here for a second. Money. All right, if we have money I had a couple of other examples. Andy, I think, was, was it you that shared we could have four nickels? No, no that, that was me. Was Maddie me. shared. We could have four nickels, and we could have two pennies. That works. 